So next in our series of fans react videos, Amy's gonna take a look at Taz's debut in WWE in 2000 at the Royal Rumble. You ready? I'm so ready, yay! I'm gonna press play in a moment and there's a link in the description below if you wanna watch along with us, but we'll put pictures on screen so you can just watch screen. I'll try to describe what's going on. So first off, I, uh, I'm pressing play and Kurt Angle is coming down to the ring. Okay. He's very patriotic. Yes, he is. So Kurt was an Olympic gold medalist. Oh, and he's, he's got his gold medals on. Yeah, he is an actual gold medalist. That's pretty cool. Um, now, more recent versions of Kurt Angle, he has shaved his hair because he was going bald. But Kurt was a wrestling machine. He looks super fit. I mean, his body's crazy. Yeah. And he, um, yeah, he, he one of his um, claims is that he won his Olympic gold medal with a broken freaking neck which is true he broke his what? neck on the way to winning that seems Olympic. impossible that's crazy yeah. so taz is going to be our surprise it's a mystery opponent for kurt angle okay. and kurt angle has been on an undefeated streak since coming to wwe all right and so for anyone who's not watching along kurt angle is addressing the crowd we have howard finkel uh in the ring as the ring announcer and everybody's curious to see who the mystery opponent is. Oh, is that why there's like smoke and stuff? Because it kind of looks mysterious? Yeah, or is that the, just that to make it cool? I think that's part of the Kurt Angle entrance. Oh, okay. I didn't know that's that true. was like mystery. It might be. It might be a little bit. That's kind of fun. Now, I, I remember when I was, um, when I watched this on pay-per-view with a crowd of about 20 people, we had a bet of who, like we had kind of that competition oh, of like, who's, who's the mystery be? opponent. And... I think a lot of people at this time had a pretty good idea that Taz was signed with WWE, but we didn't know for sure if he would debut here. And Taz, being from New York, a New York native, it'll be a big deal when he comes down because he um, was a wrestler. Taz, in the local, you, you can't huh? tell me you ruined it for me. Now I don't uh, know you, who Taz is. But you still don't know who he is, so you're going to have to give your impression. Okay. Yeah. Kurt Angle's going on saying that he's an American hero. Well, he looks like an American yeah. hero. He's got a lot of red, white, and blue on. So it's interesting. Even though he's decked out in red, white, and blue mm -hmm. and an Olympic gold medalist, he's yeah. the bad guy here. Really? Yeah, so he's kind of the bad guy here because he tried being a good guy, but people rejected him because he was too Captain America, red, white, and blue. This was the, people didn't like that? <laughs> this was the dawn of the anti-hero era. Oh. Stone Cold Steve Austin... People liking the bad guy. What? Because he seems likable to me. He seems nice enough. He's got <laughs> like gold medals. I like and... it. So yeah. he's preaching his three eyes: integrity, intelligence, and oh, Taz. Taz's debut is kicking Ooh. off. Okay. All right. Let's see if we can. The crowd's turn up the going crazy. Yeah. There's a lot of uh, a lot of energy. Ooh. They're going crazy. They're very excited for Taz to come out. Is that just a towel on his head? Or is yeah, he... that, that's kind of a look that Mike Tyson made famous, was just come out to the ring sweating, uh, you know, oh. just a towel on your head ready to beat some ass. Okay. He he looks like he is ready. Yeah, he looks like a badass, doesn't yeah. he? Like, he's he's actually fairly short, uh, maybe about 5'8". Oh, he's not even playing at no. all. No. Wait, are they supposed to start yet? And the bell has rang, but he just he just started beating him up as soon as he walked in the ring. Leapfrog by Kurt Angle and thrown out of the ring by Taz. Oh. The human suplex machine, as Jim Ross is calling him. Oh. And the crowd is eating this up partially because this is their local guy. Everybody's on their feet. And he is... He's clearly dominating. Yeah. He's just, like, pulling around. And now, Kurt Angle with a reversal with mm. a suplex onto the ramp, which looks like a street. And they've taken it... It essentially looks like a street fight because they're out towards the... Uh, on the ramp that looks like a paved street. Yeah. Okay, they're back in the ring now. Yep. It's... And Taz is a little Ooh. fire plug of a machine. Like... His gimmick was like he was, this was early in MMA days, and he tried to give a, I'm an MMA fighter feel, Brazilian jiu-jitsu, I'm going to tie you up, I'm going to throw you around, I'm going to suplex you. He definitely has a really serious face on, like, I would not want to meet that guy no. anywhere. Like He's he actually a very famous podcaster. We've, we've thought about maybe bringing him into the fold here on this channel. Ooh. Big suplex by Kurt Angle. And those suplexes have to hurt, the way you throw someone yeah. around like that. 
you could hear that on the like when he hit the mat, just yeah. crazy. So this is is this the fourth match you've seen in wrestling? Yes. And oh my goodness! Kurt Angle to the top rope he gets just, knocked off, lands on his mm. on his junk. <laughs> And big suplex by Kurt Angle off the top rope, or by Taz off the top rope. Kurt Angle looks like he's really hurt. Uh oh, wait, if he. Uh, does it not count if he puts his foot on the. He ropes? went for a cover and the feet were on the rope, so yeah, they have to stop the count. That's really? considered kind of out of bounds, if you will. Oh, that's sneaky. Yeah. Kurt Angle now with a small package roll up. Taz kicks out. Ooh. Clothesline by Kurt Angle. Kurt getting some offense in yeah. here. Now, you've, your first and second matches were Ultimate Warrior and Andre the Giant. Right. What do you think about the physicality now in the 90s versus the 80s? This is definitely more athletic. Yes. And I, yeah, there's definitely, and it's more back and forth. It's not one-sided. I can't tell who's winning or yeah. losing. I don't know. It seems A little more gray weird. area with good guys and bad guys, too, right? Yeah. Like, you're supposed to be the good guy, but people are booing you almost, yeah. you know? Ooh. Ooh. You see how he almost landed on his yeah. head? Taz threw him in a uh, suplex. I don't think there was a T-bone suplex. I was, here comes T-bone suplex. <laughs> but he landed so close to his head, I, I, I've heard that Vince McMahon in the back, the owner, was very upset with the potential risk of throwing people on their heads. Yeah. So he wasn't happy with the suplexing Taz did. Uh-oh. Taz with the Taz him. mission. You've seen this move before. The Taz mission? This is called the Taz mission. Oh, <laughs> I like it. Jim Ross calling it a sleeper hold, an illegal sleeper hold, and Kurt Angle is about to tap out, I think. Oh, yeah. A pass out. Oh, yeah, his like tongue's out of his mouth. He's struggling. Taz is the king of the sleeper, Jim Ross says. Ooh. Hand is down, and he is out. So Taz won? So Taz won. By submission. What a debut? A, yeah. That was cool. The yeah. crowd loves it. He looks still just uh, as beast. angry as yeah. he came in. He doesn't look happy about his win at all. <laughs> he still looks angry. Yeah, I would not mess with him. That, that's a, a tough that's walk cool. he has, too. He's, that's just cool that he's like walks out. He's not even checking on Kurt. No. He's like that. No celebration. That cool. Just walks out like he owns the place. That was cool. Taz calls this the best and worst moment of his career. The best because biggest pop. Like The crowd is excited. Great debut. Beats an undefe undefeated gold medalist. But worse than the fact that this was kind of the peak of his career, after this, they told me he couldn't do the suplexes anymore, they made him lose some matches, they didn't let him wrestle his style, and he never really lived up to this. Are they really putting him on a stretcher? They're putting him on a stretcher. Is it... I don't believe he's actually hurt. I believe this was... I think you know that, but I don't know. I don't know! Yeah. <laughs> I mean, he does. his face kind of looks like he's definitely have a better back it, uh, neck but... brace if that was the case. And now, let's hear from Kali Muscle with a word about Thinergy. Hey, hey, what's up with everybody in the world? This your boy, Kali Muscle. <clears throat> and as you see, I represent muscle and fitness and cuts and striations. You see what I'm saying? <laughs> and this is a shout out to the team at Thinergy. You guys are doing a great work, man. Nobody care more about fitness and nutrition than I do. So keep up the good work. It's all about incredible gains and great results. Stay motivated. Love y'all. Let me give you a little more inspiration and motivation. Look at them cuts. Love you. Stay blessed. So if you want to boost your workout into high gear, try Thinergy. It's an appetite suppressant and an energy booster. I take it as a pre-workout. Start today and get jacked like the genetic freak Big Kali Muscle. There's an Amazon link below.